Hi, welcome to Case of the Day. Today is the last case for this week. It's a Thursday evening and this is a case I had seen today and I've titled it A Scab in a Cavity. So this 39-year-old with a prior history of tuberculosis had fatigue and cough, no hemoptysis. And these are the post-infectious fibrocystic lesions with bronchiectasis, extensive volume loss, large cavities, etc also very well seen on the coronal images. And I talked about this in the third case three weeks ago where um, I showed this case where we, was, we had PTLD and suspecting reactivation. And so PTLD or post-tuberculosis lung disease is the term that we should be using for all such patients who have uh, evidence of old TB in the lungs on CT. And one of the things, and you can see that here, is to also look for aspergillus-related lung disease, to look for fungal balls or chronic pulmonary aspergillosis, etc. So in patients with PTLD who have cavities, we have to spend as radiologists an extra 15 to 30 seconds looking for fungal balls or intracavitary soft tissue. Now, this patient that didn't have fungal balls. But if you notice this, the patient has this mural nodule arising from the cavity, and this is something, uh, this is called a scab like sign. And this first was described, or rather, it's the only paper that has described it in 2018. Then the paper was retracted because they had fudged ethics clearance, but the contents were not challenged. And what they said is that the scab like sign is a predictor of hemoptysis in patients who have chronic cavities and they showed this example of a patient who didn't have anything then they found the scab and it fell in and they said it could be the a precursor to a fungal ball as well and we had this patient about four years ago where there was nothing in the cavities then we picked up this mural nodule but more importantly i had one patient who came in over um, six seven months and we found this cab like lesion along the lateral wall it then fell down uh, like a water lily almost and then detached itself and is a classic fungal ball i mean if you saw only the september 18 scan this is exactly what you would have called it and so it is likely that uh, it starts as an excrescence in many instances and falls into the cavity but the study has not been replicated so we should be a little careful about applying this, um, uh, you know, as a broad stroke. But I believe it's a good idea to look for these mural or wall lesions or excrescences and call the scab-like sign in the report to spur the physicians to investigate clinically for possible chronic pulmonary aspergillosis. And patients already known to have CPA, this may help predict hemoptysis. And I actually on Sunday did this post at ctchestreview.com. In case you're interested, currently it's free for anybody uh, to look at, but you just have to go to the site. And for those of you who are Daredevil fans, the episode 8 that aired yesterday is just a complete banger with a cliffhanger that sets up the finale next week. Uh, that's my WhatsApp channel. Thank you so much for listening to me. Take care.